this. So before I start the video, I do want to let you guys know where I found this trick and who created it. So I was on YouTube a couple days ago and I was just watching a couple of performances from the Magic Castle. It's a very cool club in Los Angeles. They have expert magicians from all over the world come over there and perform live shows for people. So I found this one video of Adam Wilbur, a very famous magician. He was performing at the Magic Castle and he did this one trick with four aces that just completely blew my mind and I just fell in love with the trick. So I tried to research it as much as I could but I honestly could not find a um, specific name for this trick or any one person who created this trick. I was not exactly sure who did it so I just decided to call this trick expectations versus reality. Now keep in mind guys I'm not claiming this trick to be my own original trick. Not at all. I give full credit to Adam Wilbur. I just called it expectations versus reality because I think it fits with the theme and also I just honestly could not find any recorded name or product or effect of this trick. All right guys, so just know that this is not my original trick. I give full credit to Adam Wilbur. And without further ado, I do wanna show you guys what this trick looks like because this is actually one of my favorite tricks now. So for this trick, I'm going to be using four cards and they're actually going to be the one, two, three, four aces. Now, the reason why I call this trick expectations versus reality is because it fits in with the whole theme of magic. Because if you have witnessed magic or seen magic live, you might have noticed that you might expect magicians to do certain things after a while, but in reality, the magician is going to totally change up the game right in front of your eyes and completely fool you. And that is basically the whole idea of magic. So I'm going to show you guys a cool demonstration of this using the four aces. So over here, I have the ace of hearts, the ace of spades, which is the more popular ace. We have the ace of diamonds as well, my favorite ace, and the ace of clubs. So I'm going to show you a very cool demonstration using the aces. So. Basically, this experiment is going to involve me taking each ace, taking it out, turning it over face down, and placing it back in the middle. But of course, I'm going to do this invisibly. And just like that, I've done one of the aces already. As you can see, one of the aces is now face down. So I'm going to try this again using the second ace. I'm going to take it out, turn it over, and place it back. With a little shake, you can see that not only one, now two aces are face down. So if I had a spectator, I would have them examine this ace of clubs, take their finger and press it all the way into the pack, just like this. So I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have them use their imagination, take out the ace, turn it over, put it back in the middle, snap my fingers and you can actually see that this really does happen because now we're left with only one ace, the ace of diamonds face up. So watch this, I'm gonna do this as cleanly as possible. I'm going to take the Ace of Diamonds, place it face up in the middle of the pack. I'm going to take it out invisibly, turn it over, place it back, and just like that, you can now see one, two, three, four face down aces. So, as easily as I can take each ace and turn it face down, I can just as easily take each ace out and turn it back over so that they're face up. Now, obviously, me being a magician, you would probably expect that but I do want to change up the game a little bit, which is why I switched out the aces for the two, three, and four of diamonds. So I know exactly what you're wondering now. Where are the other aces? Well, I'll tell you a little secret. The magician always keeps the aces in the deck. I'll, I'll tell you where the first one is. It's about 26 cards down. Second one is about 13 cards down from there. Third one, as you know, is always with the two, the three, the four of diamonds right over here. The fourth one, you just kind of have to go one, two, three, and rip it right out of that ace. And now you have the one, two, three, four aces. So guys, that was the trick. Sorry guys, no tutorial, just the performance. But anyways, I really, really hope you guys like this video and see you guys for my next one. Bye.